Hi Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made, I made this card. This card is the thank you card and for now and the next two and a half weeks I'll be making a lot of thank you cards as I need a few at this time of year. So I'm going to show you what I've made. To make this card oh, I haven't even taken them out the packets When I make a card and I know I'm going to film it, I store them, get all the bits together and I store them in this wallet thing I made with the laminator. So, to make this card I'm using the stamp set Free as a Bird and all I'm using is this little flower here and the word thank you. And the bits I need for the card are a card base and I have got petal pink, I'm not changing any colours, but petal pink. It is eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half. I have two pieces of white cardstock. Uh, five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, one for the inside and one for the outside. And I have a bit of uh, designer series paper from the Magnolia Lane, and I'm going to be using that one. And that is five and three quarters, no, five and a half by three and three quarters. And that will just sit on there, giving me a lovely little white border. And that will sit on top like that. This has come from the um, nesting dies, which are with three as a bird, and I've cut out I've cut out three in case I make a mistake when I stamp it. And the flowers I've already cut out, but I will stamp and cut some colour some more. So I have some old olive and some vellum for the leaves which I haven't punched out and I have a scrap of white for the stamping of the flowers. The ribbon here, for some reason that one doesn't want to lay down. I am using some organza satin ribbon which is this one and I'll be using a bit of that. Right, let's stick down, no, let's stamp first so the ink can dry. So we want three of these little flowers. And then we want to stamp, thank you on these and I've stamped it nearer the right oh that's done that quite well just get my cleaning cloth out finish with them. We don't need them. I'll put them in my box. Right, we'll stick these in. I do love this magnolia lane paper. It's quite pretty. decided to use DSP 
on my thank you cards because I don't use it very often. But I've decided that I will use it. Some of it is retired. That's what Gainer Boy sent me. She sent me loads ages ago. So I've decided I'm going to use start using it. Although I've got some new stuff coming. I've not stamped anything inside because I like to write a message. But if you find appropriate message inside, you can stamp one in. Right. Put that to one side. Now what we'll do is punch out three of these leaves. This idea did come from Pinterest. Um, let me get my phone. Oops. In fact, all the cards have come from Pinterest, so and I saved them all. Where's my cards? That's it. Right, she's done hers like that. Can you see? I've just changed the blue on mine. And this is Pretty Paper Cars Peg. Peggy No. And that's who it was who designed this card. Right, I need three green ones. I think this is big enough to get three out of. Yeah. Right. Now then, to colour these flowers, all I did with seaside spray. Oh yeah, I got it right. And just coloured in two. And I didn't colour in the fold. The bit that's folded over. third one in petal pink light both of them were light and then I used the dark sea spray and I just went over the the folds in the dark and then I just did a circle of dark in the middle just did a circle of dark in the middle 
and the folds. I did the same with the petal pink. And a dark bit in the middle. And then I cut them out using the um no, I didn't. No dies. Cut them out by hand. I'll cut each of them out, which I've done here. And that was all I done there. So now we just put this car together. And I used dimensionals on this one. Hmm, I've no large ones in there, so I'll just use some small ones. And I want some dimensionals on the flowers. I don't know if I've got any more large dimensionals left. I have to have a look in the cupboard. Right. Take the backings off. Someone's car alarm's gone off outside. Right, I'm going to place that right there in the middle. Now we want a piece of ribbon. I'm gonna waste that bit. And I've got a piece of ribbon here, and all I'm gonna do is fold it in half and glue it down there. So I'm just gonna. Blob of glue down there. And stick that down like that. All that hunting for me. Blue dots. I want to put one underneath. I'm trying to get it under the ticket. That's it. And then we will stick the leaves. All I do is just stick a bit of glue on the stem and just stick them down like that. Come up and put 
this one here. And with the vellum, I just do the bit under that hides underneath. And last one. Just fills it out when you put vellum on. Like that. Put a lid on my glue because I won't need that no more. She says. Right. Uh, right with the pink flower we'll put that on first in the middle right, I need to put a bit more glue under this ribbon And then we grab the blue flowers and put one there. And on there. And that's our card. But first, last thing we need to do is add some gems. And I've got these silver dots, and I'm going to put one on each flower. Like that. And there we have it. One pretty thank you card. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And uh, if you press the bell up button, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.